less than 12 Abraham's inheritance. Tuesday, March 21st. An everlasting kingdom. Question A. As sons and daughters of God, through faith, what type of kingdom is promised us? Daniel 2 verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Daniel 7 verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven, shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. 2 Peter 1 verse 11. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The Lord's purposes for his people have ever been the same. He desires to bestow on the children of men the riches of an eternal inheritance. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. When those who choose to become obedient subjects of the Most High are finally saved in the kingdom of glory, God's purpose for mankind will have been fulfilled. The Review and Herald, December 26, 1907. Question B. How long will believers enjoy this everlasting kingdom? Titus 3 verse 7. That being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. 1 John 5 verse 11 to 13. And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. This life is a training school, where we are to be transformed, refined, and made meet for the society of saints in the kingdom of God, with whom we expect to associate throughout the ages of eternity. The Bible Echo, July 29, 1895. Question C. How do we know that God wants everyone to share in this inheritance? 2 Peter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Ezekiel 18 verse 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God, wherefore turn yourselves, and live ye. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord wills not that any soul should perish. His mercies are without number, and he will not leave his purchased possession that he has given his own life to ransom to become the sport of Satan's temptations. All heaven is given to all those who believe in Jesus Christ as their present personal Saviour. The Upward Look, page 150. The light of the world is shining upon us that we might absorb the divine rays and let this light shine upon others in good works that many souls shall be led to glorify our Father which is in heaven. He is long suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, and it grieves the heart of Jesus that so many refuse the offers of his mercy and matchless love. Manuscript Releases, Volume 2 pages. 237 and 238. Tune in tomorrow, we will be studying about, holding our confidence. Feel free to share this lesson with a friend and please subscribe to our channel.